let us see about the different turn on methods of ser the condition for ser to get turned on is it should be forward biased so we can bring the ser from forward blocking mode to forward conduction mode by different techniques forward voltage triggering gate triggering dv by dt triggering temperature triggering and light triggering let us see one by one in this method the anode voltage is increased with gate circuit open so we are increasing the voltage continuously and at one voltage we can see breakdown occurs and the current start to increase so this voltage at which breakdown occurs is called the forward breakover voltage actually this method is not recommended because it may damage the scr gate triggering is the most commonly used technique in this um, method in the forward blocking mode we are applying the gate signal and once gate signal is applied the scr goes into conduction the voltage at which uh, scr goes into conduction depends upon the magnitude of the gate current if i give higher gate current namely ig1 it will conduct earlier itself and once anode current exceeds the latching current you can remove the gate current so in the forward blocking mode usually uh, these two junctions will be forward biased while the middle junction is reverse biased because gate circuit is open so this acts like a capacitor this junction j2 acts like a capacitor the current through the capacitor can be given by c into dv by dt so if this dv by dt increases i will increase so if i increases current starts to flow and then scr goes into conduction so this method is not preferred it may damage the device in temperature triggering method same as the previous case this junction is reverse biased and some leakage current will be flowing and due to this leakage current temperature of the junction increases so this increase in temperature increases the current again this increase in current will increase the temperature so this process continues at at one time it may turn on on the device so the final one is the light triggered scr or light activated scr in which a small niche is made in the inner p layer of the scr so a light will be once light falls on this area this scr will be activated and, and it gets uh, into conduction mode this type of scr is especially used in high voltage dc transmission system because the voltage is very high and uh, we can easily isolate the power circuit from the control circuit so the points to remember here are gate triggering is the most commonly used technique and it is the preferred method and the voltage at which scr conducts depends upon the magnitude of the gate current if i give more gate current um, conduction occurs at a lower voltage so once uh, anode current exceeds the latching current you can remove the gate signal and light activated scr is used in high voltage dc system as they can provide electrical isolation between the power and the control circuit these are the references and if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle thank you